The Spider-Man No Way Home teaser has been thrilling fans around the world for barely two weeks now. This is most likely due to the return of many familiar faces that we can guess from the teaser. Among them are the Green Goblin, Lizard, Sandman, Electro and of course Duck Ock. They are all set to go up against the Spider-Man played by Tom Holland, Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield giving fans a true multiverse spectacle. While the many villains are mostly confirmed, there's still no confirmation of the Spider-Man trio on the good guy side. Garfield in particular has denied involvement in No Way Home in the past on the Happy Sad Confused podcast. Even in a more recent conversation with Variety, the 38-year-old did not back down from his denial. He once again explained in detail that he himself was a fan and that he liked the idea of three Spider-Man at once, but that it was also important for him to emphasize that he was not involved in the project in any way. Besides, he stated that it doesn't matter what he says because many fans will either be very disappointed or it will be very exciting for them. So is this now the denial that many fans were not expecting? We obviously do not believe anything Garfield is saying because while at the very beginning of the rumors it was still considered to be a pipe dream to see three Spider-Man on screen, by now it is regarded as almost certain, especially considering that a hint about the antagonists of Garfield and Maguire already appeared in the teaser. In addition, shortly after the interview with Variety, a video surfaced that supposedly shows Garfield filming No Way Home. What do you think? Is an appearance of Tom Holland, Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield safe, or does Garfield's statement make you question it? Feel free to let us know in the comments. It is not the first time Sony has rescheduled the release of the upcoming Venom Let There Be Carnage. This time, however, fans do not have to wait any longer, instead they can expect to see the film in theaters at an earlier date. As Variety reports, the US release has been moved up to October 1st, 2021. The reason for this is likely to be the success of the recently released Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings given that Marvel achieved a considerable box office result of almost 90 million US dollars in the first few days which is not a bad amount of money for a film release in this time of pandemic. Sony is hoping for a similar result as they of course aim to achieve the same success as with the previous film. Although the recently announced US H rating of 13 and up did not please everyone, the hype around the comic adaption is still tremendous. We are looking forward to the face-off between Carnage and Venom and eagerly await the new release on October 1st. The upcoming Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom aims to continue the franchise's track record. After the first part grossed over a billion US dollars, there's no doubt that this is very understandable. The release is still quite some time away, but we are glad to see new footage of the sequel. First of all, there's a picture of the popular main character Arthur Curry, aka Aquaman. In addition to his typical clothing, he wears a brand new suit in the upcoming film, which is much darker. Fittingly, Jason Momoa comments as follows on Instagram, second round, new suit, more action. As a fan, this is of course great news and many are wondering what this suit is actually all about. After all, the fancy design comes with a handy feature that makes the wearer invisible. So we naturally assume that the protagonist will have to act subtly and inconspicuously in the upcoming sequel, well, at least at times. There's a lot of speculation at this point, especially in connection with the underwater kingdom of Necros, which will be the focus of the plot of the second part. Let's see what happens. Arthur Curry is not the only one to feature a new look though, as the villain side also brings news. In a picture posted by director James Wan, you can see actor Patrick Wilson in his role as Ocean Master. At first sight, you might think you're seeing a meeting between James Wan and Robinson Crusoe, but it is in fact Wilson. But all kidding aside, the reason for the neglect is not quite clear yet. It could have something to do with the focus on horror elements in the upcoming part. Again, we can only speculate here. Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom will hit theaters on December 16th, 2022. The huge Rick and Morty fan community was quite amazed when they suddenly saw Christopher Lloyd in the new teaser for the fifth season. Sure, Rick and his companion Morty are kind of based on Doc Brown and Marty McFly from the Back to the Future franchise anyway, but the fact that you now get to see Lloyd as live-action Rick is a real surprise. Joining him is IT star Jaden Martell as Morty and a regular Pickle as Pickle Rick. Okay, all jokes aside, many fans are of course wondering what this is all about. Since the tweet was posted before the season finale without any context, it's hard to know whether it's just a clever PR stunt or if the teaser might actually reveal a clue about the finale. The only extra information is C-132, which stands for one of the parallel universes from the Rick and Morty world. Might it be a universe where the characters are embodied by real actors? Find it out for yourself because the entire fifth season is now available to watch as the last two episodes came out on September 5th. 
Work on Mission Impossible 7 has already been underway since January 2019. Since then, there has been one major cause for the project to be talked about, and that is the various postponements of the release date. So to shorten the waiting time of more than a year, we thought you might enjoy a short summary of everything that is known about the seventh part so far. Let's start with the cast. There are no big surprises at this point. We will see Tom Cruise as Ethan Hunt, Bing Rains as Luther Stickle, Simon Pegg as Benji Dunn, Rebecca Ferguson as Elsa Faust, and Vanessa Kirby as Alana Mitsopoulos, among many others. Making a special return is Henry Cherney as Eugene Kidridge, as his character has not been on screen since the first part in 1996. Behind the camera, Christopher McQuarrie is again the director and scriptwriter, and he and his team are responsible for the implementation. There are still no details regarding the story, but we have already gotten a glimpse of the breathtaking stunts of the action blockbuster. The absolute highlight is a motorcycle jump in which lead actor Tom Cruise himself falls down a huge cliff. He refers to it as the most dangerous stunt of his life, which is certainly no understatement on the part of the 59-year-old. We will continue to keep you up to date on upcoming news about Mission Impossible. Unfortunately, the release date of September 30th, 2022 is not yet in sight. Mr. and Mrs. Smith, starring Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie, was released 16 years ago. The film not only laid the foundation for the relationship between the two stars, which later became world famous under the name Brangelina, but was also an enjoyable action romance. Rather suddenly, it was announced at the beginning of the year that a Mr. and Mrs. Smith series was being planned under the direction of showrunner Francesca Sloan. The two main actors were also already confirmed. Mr. Smith was to be embodied by U.S. rapper and actor Donald Glover, while the female counterpart was to be given to Phoebe Waller-Bridge. But as Deadline now reported a few days ago, Waller-Bridge has abruptly quit the project. The reason is believed to have been creative differences with her acting colleague Donald Glover. According to reports, the two have parted ways, at least amicably. The two months long process of the series has now come to a sudden halt and it is now up to Sloan and Glover to quickly find an adequate replacement. The situation is different for Walla Bridge, who is unlikely to be bored at the moment due to the filming of Indiana Jones 5. Whether the series is still firmly on the schedule or whether they might even decide to put the project on hold is currently uncertain, as is a possible release date, of course.